I don't know where I was going with that, but <laughs> let's just move on to the next time. <laughs> Even I'm like, um, it- let's get our nachos and get ready to kung fu fight. We got a Jack Black character, ladies and gentlemen. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Not so- only that, the first animated film character. Yes. So, uh, do you want, let me just yes. um, let me just pause my uh, Metopia quickly. Yeah. But also, I completed like twenty dungeons while you were talking about Blake versus Mikasa. <laughs> oh, it's good. Uh, but I didn't realize it would come for that long. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also I should throw out there. Not only is this also our first DreamWorks character, their first matchup is a DreamWorks versus Disney matchup. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we're getting the Disney versus. Technically, yes. We're getting the Disney versus DreamWorks, and it's. So many people really thought Baymax versus Toothless would actually be the first uh, Disney versus DreamWorks. Yeah, that that yeah. surprises me as well. Uh, well, I mean, technically, this is a more of a Marvel versus DreamWorks, really. Yeah, but Marvel's owned by Disney, so. Oh, at this point, Disney are going to own the. World. Yeah, that's why I said technically. Like, give it twenty more years, they're going to own our military. We're going to see soldiers wearing like Kevlar Mickey Mouse hats. They'll buy this podcast off a of bill for 20 bucks. <laughs> Lizzo, you think my podcast is even worth that much? You're, you're having a laugh. <laughs> um, so, Poe versus Iron Fist. So, okay, I won't say this is my Blake versus Mikasa, but I do have a huge attachment to both characters. Um, during the uh, uh, secondary school, I used to watch... Um, Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes, which if none of you have seen, is a really good uh, Avengers TV show. In fact, this came up before the movies. So, a few bragging rights. I knew about the Avengers before any uh, any of you two. <laughs> uh, you guys there, or did you cut out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, I was just uh, checking my notifications. Okay. <laughs> and we just didn't care about that remark. Oh. No one ever cares about Hey, anything. you were playing a video game while I was having a heartfelt moment. Hey, I was listening at least. I, <laughs> I can multitask, <laughs> man. I'm a man. I can multitask. Dude, I was listening. You were watching uh, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. And talking about how great a show it is. Touché. Anyway. <laughs> um, Iron Fist came in. He was originally meant to be like... um. Just a one-time side character. You know, like how in the original Spider-Man cartoon, or well, not original, original, the uh, 1990s one, uh, they would have like an Avenger or a character pop up once uh, an episode. Like there was the X-Men one, there was the Doctor Strange episode. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, Iron Fist was just meant to be that. But then later on, he became such a popular character in the show that he became an, an official Avenger in the show. Alongside um, Wolverine mm. and Spider-Man. Not bad. And at first I was thinking, eh, he doesn't really seem that interesting, but more and more of his character and how epic his story was, and yeah, I wouldn't say he's relatable, but he was kind of like, um, it's weird to describe him, he, he's, a, he's like a Kung Fu Spider-Man, you know, he's a, he's a really relatable youngster who wants to do good, and he gets the power to do so, but instead of shooting spider webs, he instead punches with a golden fist. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, can I just throw I realized something hilarious. Oh, yeah? So, back in Season 6, we get Weiss versus Mitsu, a Ruby character versus a character from a franchise that hasn't turned up in Death Battle yet. Uh, the next time features a combatant who's known for punching people with a glowing fist. <laughs> and now we have Blake versus Mikasa, a Ruby character versus a character from a franchise that hasn't been in Death Battle yet. The next time features a combatant known for punching people with a glowing fist. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, Iron Fist is, and even a new franchise too. That is true. Wait, yeah, the last one was F Zero. This is Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> that episode by- was still good, by the way. Ash Rex. Mm. Uh, Iron Fist is one of my favorite characters from like not just Earth's Mightiest Heroes, but even from like. Uh, Avengers in total, they really butchered his character in the Netflix adaptation, like... I was wondering if I should bring that up. <laughs> don't worry, I'm Someone not... had to. Listen, I'm not Richard, I don't get triggered easily when I men- someone mentions things I don't like. <laughs> I can get over Shots it. Shots fired. Yeah. I will also just, uh, throw out there that 
I thought the Netflix series was okay. But it wasn't. Hello there. Now back to the show. So anyway, but um, <laughs> so uh, Iron Netflix Fist series aside, yeah, Iron Fist is um, one of my favorite characters from uh, even in Ultimate Spider-Man. As much as I didn't like that show, um, I yeah, I did feel like uh, Iron Fist was one of the few saving graces of it, especially because there was an episode dedicated to him, and it really showed off how much of a good character he is. Um, I haven't read the comics, oh, but. Uh, people say the comics are actually all uh, right, so maybe I'll give. Okay, them sorry. Hmm? Sorry to interrupt. Uh, I was I was also playing Pokemon Go on my iPad. I just found a shiny Dratini. <laughs> oh my goodness! Welcome to us not caring about what we have to say. The podcast. <laughs> uh, t to be fair, <laughs> I was playing on my DS when I when mate was talking. So <laughs> you know what? It's fair that he plays a game as well. <laughs> Um, what's up? What's up? It's a shiny Dratini. That is a pretty cool shiny. Are they? Are they the ones that have the golden arm look or the uh, lightish blue? Uh, it's pink instead of blue. Okay. Yep. Fair enough. Um, it's really hard to remember all the shinies in Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Well, um, some are way better than others. Yeah, the only ones I can remember at the top of my head is like um, Gyarados and Charizard. Uh, I don't but, want to sound like I'm bragging, but I already have those. Nice. But anyway, back to the topic. Okay. <laughs> yeah, back to Poe versus Iron Fist. I gotta ask, are we all in the camp that we want Poe to win? Uh, um, yeah, I, I... I have logic for my reason, so I have my official prediction. Uh, okay, so I might as well talk about Poe, because... Um, I'm rooting for him, and I'm kind of betting on him, but at the same time, I don't know how powerful Poe is, so I kind of might be shooting myself in the foot. Um, but I'm going to root for him because... Okay, this ain't going to be it's an emotional... It's Poe, dude! Okay, this ain't going to be an emotional moment, but uh, I feel like this could be important to say. Kung Fu Panda kind of taught me how to stand up to bullying as a kid. Uh... Especially characters like Uguay and Poe, and just how much of a likable character Poe was, despite the fact that um, this is specifically the first film. Uh, Poe, the moment he was uh, part of this new group, and they kind of mocked him and unwelcomed him, talked behind his back and made fun of him. I won't lie, did hit. That is really uncomfortable to watch even now because that's just too relatable to uh, my first few years in the primary school. Yeah, so. U Uguay's, um quotes and speeches kind of uh, cheered me up. And, you know, from then on, Poe became such a really likable character. And, um, and and even though people kind of debate whether the third one was either a flop or a really good end to a, a, a trilogy, I consider it a really fun movie. Not as good as the first or second one, but it still showcases the, the innocence of Poe. Please, no spoilers. I have yet to see that one. <laughs> Okay, well, it's pretty decent. Okay, well, without spoiling it too much, I do kind of want to say this. There's a moment Poe goes somewhere, and he should be freaking out where he is, because it is horrifying, but he's fanboying about it, and it's just like, god damn it, Poe. <laughs> it's, it's too funny, like, no matter where he is, if it has something to do with Kung Fu in history, he'll fanboy over it. <laughs> did, did po, Poe's a nerd. And also his Like friend, us. His fight with Tai Long, I can watch that fight so much and just always laugh at it. Because the reason I find it so funny is because Tai Long, through the majority of the film, is shown to be this unstoppable warrior. Like he slaughtered hundreds of rhinos. Probably why. And then soloed. And then soloed the Furious Five. And then he gets sat on. He gets sat on. <laughs> He gets plates thrown at his face. He gets a frying pan thrown at his face. He gets freaking pieces off a rooftop thrown at him. Oh, and do we have to talk about the belly donk? 
<laughs> oh, steps on his post steps on his foot, and be, if he freaking bites his own tail, like that could not be any more humiliating. <laughs> oh my lord! Now I will say, uh, just a quick shout out to the Tai Long fight because I was thinking about that in terms of this matchup, and I just thought to myself, if Poe wins, please. Let the finisher be the whooshy finger hold. Yes. <laughs> like, mm. like, have have Iron Fist call him a fat panda. He just like catches his wrist to avoid, you know, the Iron Fist. Oh, and it says, I'm not a fat panda. Do some move to just grab his finger. I'm the big fat panda. Raise his pinky and Iron Fist just shits himself like oh, the, the whooshy finger hold. Just somehow have like it would make no sense, but have him know what that hold is. Just to add to the whole, oh, you know this hold. <laughs> and just like, but but that, that technique is forbidden. No one could have taught you that. Nah, I figured it out. Skadoosh. I don't think it'll go that long, but I think it, the fight needs to end on I'm D, big fat panda, and then show the killing blow. Uh, I mean, yeah, but I'm sorry. It's just like the thought of like that scene, It just it's just too perfect. Um... Yeah, and it's, I might sound harsh for saying this, but at the same time, uh, it's a shame that the last episode before it was a 3D one because Poe deserves to have a 3D fight. Because, you know. I mean, I think hand drawn would make it a lot more sense for Poe. Yeah, that's actually something I thought about. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'm actually be up for that as well, especially since the first opening to the movie was a hand drawn segment. Yeah. Um, mm hmm. And it this has like really unique... good potential. Oh no! Like, no, if you want to talk about potential, this has the potential to be the perfect mix of awesome and stupid, <laughs> but the exactly. right way. Just basically be the Goro versus Machamp of this season. <laughs> no, I wouldn't go that far. Well, that's pretty. Dude, silly. I would. You know, you have a Pokemon versus a warrior that is, you know, responsible for killing powerful warriors, including gods. <laughs> So to have yeah, him lose to a I, I Pokemon wrestler is just <laughs> that's too funny. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> and, now we, and, uh, and now we've got Iron Fist, one of the greatest martial artists on Earth in Marvel, fighting a panda. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not a panda. The panda. I'm sorry, but that's funny. <laughs> Also, okay, uh, another thing I really hope they do in this fight, the fight needs to open up with Poe going, come on then, my fist hunger for combat. Oh, that was my fist. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Like, that's a good, that, that would be That'd great. Be amazing. Uh, <laughs> There's so much potential. Like, most of the time with this, this fight, I'm just going to be making Kung Fu Panda quotes. And if it isn't yeah. obvious enough, oh. I'm rooting for Poe. Like, as much oh, as I, I think we him, all are. Oh god, are we gonna have? Is that gonna be your official prediction, Bill? Yeah, like even though okay, listen, I have. Even if Poe loses, I'm still standing Fair. by best panda. There. I mean, I put logic behind why I put Poe, but I'll wait for my turn before I talk about that. Okay, uh, so it's Sean's turn right. now. <laughs> I've said all my piece. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I watched the movies as a kid, and I I always enjoyed the movies. The third one is I think it's an underrated gem in the franchise. Not as good as like the first one, but I'd spoil it. Really good. I'm not going to. Good. Um, it's an underrated movie in that franchise. I feel like, and then Iron Fist, pretty cool character. Didn't watch the Netflix show, but my my uh, my Comic Con. Comic Con friend, there we go. Uh, she always talks about how Iron Fist is one of her favorites. Oddly enough, she prefers that over the Daredevil Netflix series if she's bored. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'll, I'll just say fair, my, her I'll just say my favorite was Jessica Jones. Yeah, that that was hers too. I'm slowly going off, you guys. Dude, Jessica well, Jones was amazing. Friends, okay, dude, David Tennant was yeah, so good as Kilgrave. David Tennant's good at everything. David Tennant's the only saving Yeah, guys. true. Okay, but um, Iron Fist seems like a cool character. He's not, he doesn't seem like one-dimensional, which is fantastic. No, like I said, he is kind of like 
a um, martial art Peter Parker in a way. Which is yeah, why in a lot of the comics they're best More friends. interesting compared to like some other Marvel characters we've had on Death Battle, honestly. <laughs> and as we kind of alluded to earlier, my prediction is going to Poe. However, this is the closest fight I think we're going to have this season. I think that Iron Fist probably takes his inexperience and speed, which is definitely going to help him out. Hmm. But Poe's durability and power output is just a little bit more than Iron Fist can handle. Hey, but this is really close. Cartoon physics go a long way, buddy. <laughs> exactly. But people just assume just because Poe is more powerful that Poe's going to win. Whereas, no, uh, it takes more than power to win a death battle. He, and plus, stamina might be an issue for Poe. But I, like I said, I think Poe's just output and durability is just going to help him against Iron Fist. Wait, hold on. I, just, is this I need to ask. Go ahead. Does Iron Fist have some sort of, like, nerve attack? I think so. I mean, oh my god, they could do might. it! <laughs> oh, I what know if what he uses it on Poe, and he's just like, <laughs> no, no, stop! I'm, I'm gonna pee! I'm gonna oh pee! <laughs> Please do that. Dude, this is gonna be... I don't care if this is going to be the joke fight of the season, oh. but this is going to be a really good episode. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to be. Here's the thing. I was when when I saw this got announced, it was like this is really dumb, but also very clever at the same time. That's how I felt. The reactions it. to the announcement are priceless. <laughs> yeah. And plus, like, if po if this episode does well, I really hope this means we get more movie characters in that. Oh, battle. like Hiccup and really Toothless do. versus Hero and Baymax, right? There we go. Exactly. And do you know what? I might be in the early boat when I say this. Maybe Shrek? <laughs> well, Shrek versus Zoe has also been a popular one for years. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. And then, do you okay, I am also... Uh... Racket Ralph! Let's bring in Wreck-It Ralph! Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, it depends on how well this episode does. Because if this does really well, True. then there's so many possibilities that they can do. Dude, if it po turns out is, to be... Poe is super popular, so I think he's going to bring in the views. Yeah, yeah. true. If it, it's just that, like, they're going to put... I feel like this, this episode's going to have a lot of time and effort, but I hope it pays off, unlike Power Rangers versus Voltron. Even Ben himself has said that that episode didn't pay off. Oof. I, I'm also, I would also like to throw Weiss versus Mitsuru into that. Double. Didn't want to say it because I wasn't sure how you felt about it. Well, I mean, it mainly just... Uh, okay, okay, yeah. I'm, I hate the fact that Weiss lost, and also because it's, it didn't do as well as some other episodes that came out after it. Mm. Yeah, I wonder if they'll look at that, and especially if Blake versus Mikasa ends up doing well. What if they just look at it and go, "Oh, it must be Persona's fault." Do you well, know? As, I feel not, like which would, still, uh, which would suck because there are Persona matchups I do want. Do you know? What? It's actually kind of sad. Yeah. That might actually be the case because, okay, despite the fact that the people we hang around with love Persona, when you compare it to the entire video game community, not as many have heard of Persona. Especially I will say in the UK. I I will say I feel like a Persona 4 or 5 character probably would have done better than a Persona 3 character. Just just because I, like uh, 4 and 5 are more well known. Yeah. And are uh, like just more I mean, hype. There's potential for Joker versus Giorno this season. Yeah, totally. I'd be down for that. Plus, with how popular Persona versus JoJo is. And... I mean, I think it to be to be fair, I'll just address this real quick before I move on. I think that's a lot better than you, Nakami versus Josuke. And that's not you's fault, by the way. That's more so what Josuke Stan actually does. And here I am sitting here thinking, I still have yet to watch JoJo. I say give it a watch if you're in a good mood for it. Oh, honestly. wait. I just realized we are going to have a JoJo character this season as well. Oh, we are? I mean, they, they've Part more than... Six. They've more than subtly confirmed it. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know which one you're talking about now. Do you know, I have not that, watched JoJo, but I'm familiar with the meme character. Dude, that, that freaking Doom preview. Yeah, but 
I think at the end of the day, this is going to be a very entertaining fight. I feel slightly bad for it because it's got to live up to Blake versus Mikasa, but thankfully we're getting something that has a little bit more comedy to it. I think that's a good way to uh, conclude, to follow an episode that shattered expectations for a lot of people. Let's have like a little bit of a comedy episode. Hmm. And uh, with that being said, I have given my reason. I will be going for Poe for my prediction, but this is close. Nate, uh, I pass it on to you. Oh, right. Um, okay, so like I said, I thought the Iron, Iron Fist Netflix series was okay. And the ending of season two pissed me off. Really? Because, no, I, I, I forget what her name is. The chick with the katana. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't remember her name either. Okay, well, she inherits the Iron Fist. And when I see her channel it through her sword, I'm like, oh, That's fucking awesome! Like, I want to see more of this! Give me season three! Cancelled. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot the show was cancelled. I was so mad when I heard that. Uh... I mean, I was mad at season one. And, I haven't even watched season two. <laughs> uh, yeah, but like, all I ask for Iron Fist in this fight is don't don't do him like that Akuma versus Iron Fist DBX. Like, don't don't have this just be out of spite because of the uh, Netflix series. Yeah, mm. it's kind of unfortunate because. Uh, I've only briefly seen this on Duo's uh, Discord server. One, or, it was either Duo's Discord server or Brobuscus, but Iron Fist is kind of the the butt end for jokes for the the death battle team. Yeah, but, like when they brought Poe up is uh, the loved the the most loved in the death battle uh, team. Mm. So, kind of leaves a bad taste, really. Yeah, but. I mean, they do try to like stay impartial. Like, for example, when uh, like Ben has admitted he hates Sasuke. Mm. Like, yeah, I was gonna bring that up. Yeah, did, uh, Sasuke versus Hiei. Yeah, did you get the impression with Sasuke versus Hiei that you know the people working on it hated the character? Oh, well, yeah, because they killed Sasuke. <laughs> Aside from <laughs> As that, they said multiple <laughs> times, Bill. They thought Sasuke was going to win. They triple-checked everything and realized, oh shit, he actually wins. Look at how they messed yeah, with my like, boy. <laughs> Sorry. Like, I had to, I like, had when to they, do that meme. <laughs> like, they went over all the research, came to that conclusion, they were like, wait, really? Like, are we sure? RMP, best edge boy. <laughs> Oh, I still say that goes to Sephiroth. It's, it's, <laughs> Shadow for life. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. Like I've not played Final Fantasy VII yet. Me and Jaru are probably like we always fanboy at how much of a badass villain he is. <laughs> oh, I just uh, realized something. I I meant to bring this up because me and Max talked about it. Have you guys noticed this is kind of a season of cute animals? Like I, I mean, I'm we had a man. mouse, a hedgehog. Okay, well, not a full-on <laughs> cat, but because she's a cat fauna, she could count Blake as like the cat. And now because... we're about to have a panda. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yes. To be fair, last season's theme was "fuck your lunch." True. <laughs> Thankfully, this season's not "fuck your animal." That's actually kind of true because the animals have been winning. Oh my god, they have, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, po the geese, but that doesn't count. No, 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 he's not an animal person. He's just named after one. It doesn't count. Exactly. I mean, I don't know. I feel like we should still count that. <laughs> who are you, you know what? That, who are you going to say? Not who? That's, that's why Poe's going to win. Oh my goodness. For the meme. Oh my god. <laughs> I just want a Max face after just hearing that. <laughs> God, I'm having, like, and, okay, I should address this, I, like, you guys saw my reaction, did I seem that bothered by the next time? 
No, I do. I actually did want to briefly mention, but we kind of are reaching up the half an hour, an hour and a half yeah, an hour. Yeah, I, I was going to say, it was to the next time was hilarious. It was more so me. because of. Yeah, yeah, like I don't think I really conveyed how I actually felt because I was just so overwhelmed with how good Blake versus Mikasa was. But I am excited for this exactly. matchup, and I'm looking forward to it. I, oh, God damn, I I hope Poe wins. Like yeah. I don't have anything against Iron Fist. But it's just like, it's Poe, dude. Yeah, like... Is that going to be oh. your official prediction? Because, like, I, I don't know... Because um, you said, that's, this is not your bet. You're just, you're just rooting for Poe. Uh, and like, it's just because, like... Dude, one of the things I love about that film is, like, when he gets the dragon scroll and it's blank. And it's just like, well, what, what, mm -hmm. what the hell? Like, what was the point of everything? And he realizes what the secret of the scroll really is. And I'm just like, it's, that's a powerful ass message. That's why I say Kung Fu Panda is one of the best DreamWorks trilogies out there. And my parrot agrees with me as he interrupted. He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, no, the moment he looks at it again and just goes, there's no secret ingredient. Like, it's just you. Like, goddamn, dude. Dude. It was funny, I didn't get the message until he's actually looking at it properly when he's in the frame, because with, I, I remember at first, I thought that whole noodles bit just didn't make any sense. But then when Poet mentioned it to mm. Tai Long, I was like, oh. Symbolism is a powerful mm. thing. It's, it's amazing how a lot more kids' movies have more of an adult message than a lot of adult movies. They're also just adult jokes. Don't even get me started on the Sonic movie. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh boy, Do you know, dude, uh, that was my... funny. I laughed my ass off. Do you know what? Oh man, I'm actually trying to contain my inner fanboy because what's revealing for Sonic Two? I'm just there, like I really want to talk about that. <laughs> but it's like, but this is not for uh, <laughs> Yeah, we'll honestly, say like, that if a the, character the things... gets on death batter from that. <laughs> the things I really have like going for. Poe in terms of like I think he could win it's just this matchup was done as a community death battle a while back like mm. I think it was before Johnny versus Falcon came out oh wow like it was around that time it was during season 6 uh, and I only remember this because Max was doing Persona 4 streams at that point and he was talking about that community death battle and how a lot of people were just like I mean Iron Fist obviously his response was and they quote I think you guys are under underestimating just how strong Poe is. And to be fair, Max, most of the time, he guesses the wins right. Oh, yeah, he does. Uh, so, to be fair, Max was also a researcher, so he has like access to all this excess knowledge. Hmm. I don't know why. I'm just picturing uh, a, a recreation of that meme. Here in my bedroom with all my video games. But do you know I like more than my video games? Death Battle Knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is an old not... meme. If people understand it, <laughs> I I, o I only vaguely know it because of cute fuzzy weasel. <laughs> I freaking love feeding the trolls. It's hilarious. Uh, but anyway, I I was just gonna say, if Poe manages to like grab Iron Fist, like just do the wishy finger hold, boom, he's dead. Like. He just needs to get that one lucky opportunity, and then he's won. Are you saying at the whole point of this fight, he needs to get to the point? Uh, and, you know, honestly, considering, like, I did watch the second movie, he gets, like, so much better in that movie, but, you know, he's still himself, he's still a goofball, he's still a nerd. Come on. I'm surprised we didn't but, talk about the freaking final fight in Kung Fu Panda 2, man. He's having cannons fired oh, at him. <laughs> yeah. The whole inner peace thing. Like, that was awesome. And it's also, like, mm -hmm. totally going to help him in this fight. S still one of the best epic finales in any DreamWorks movie. Just just seeing the villain's what the F face, like, what? <laughs> like, what is going on? <laughs> I spent years building this army. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's so it's a great film hmm. I will say and, that oh, if you and Bill uh, like, aren't 100% sure on who to vote for 
we can just wait until the Saturday beforehand for you guys to get your predictions in, honestly. I'm, All right, sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sticking with Pope, even if people start saying, nah, this is a stomp and I'm fist favor. I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm going to be a man who okay. goes down with the ship. <laughs> this will be my time. Plus, this will give time for me to watch... Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, well, this will give me time to watch Kung Fu and the three anyway. Oh, yeah, I plan to. Uh, you know what? F it. Poe for the win. <laughs> Yay, we're all agreeing uh, again. Oh, and um, all I got to say is good luck to Poe's voice actor because you've got to match the energy of Jack Black. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I've, I've that is not easy. I've kind of said this on Robustcast, uh, not Robustcast, the the Discord server for it. Yeah. I actually wouldn't mind Miles mm. actually voice in post. I think he does somewhat sound similar What, Miles to, Luna? Yeah, he does somewhat sound yeah. similar to Jack, but just a more younger version, which for a character like Poe, that fits, because hmm. Poe is young. I kind of hear it. Yeah, Robustcast... Yeah, Proboscis brought that up in Duo Server, actually. He didn't mention you by oh. name, of course, but he brought it up. I... Yay, I'm famous! <laughs> no, I, I also have a... <laughs> I also have another idea. Hmm? Uh, hmm. And, okay, shout out to Max again for this, because it was his idea. Um, How do you feel about the voice actor for Frank West in Leon vs. Frank? Austin Lee Matthews. I've only heard his Frank West Even though voice. I... Even though I hate that episode, I, I think his performance was good. Yeah, how do you feel about him voicing Poe? Not a bad idea. Alright, and the reason I think that would be amazing is because I found out from Max, um, Austin Lee Matthews has said that Poe is one of his favorite characters in anything ever. That, that, that's what I'm saying, like, most of you the You think he can pull the voice off? I, I honestly think he has the potential and just... Like, could you imagine just like loving a character and just wanting to voice them in something, and then you actually get to do it? Like, that'd be cool. Like, I'd be so happy for the guy if he got that. Yeah, I would be too, actually. Oh, it'd be yeah. like uh, Chris Sabat, actually, as well. Yeah, didn't he want to voice Solid it? Snake? Yeah, he would. He would always say at any convention, just like yeah, Chris uh, Sabat. Like, whenever people asked him, oh, is there any character that you would love to voice in something, he would always say Solid Snake. Yeah, and, like, he did really good back uh, when Snake vs. Sand got released. He did that for free, by the way. Really? Yeah, just, yeah. just because he really just wanted to voice Snake. See, people? Death Battle makes dreams come true, even if they end up killing your favorite characters. Just like what happened with me, although, to be fair, I knew that was going to happen. At least you accepted yeah. the death. But, yeah. Yeah. Also, we're still waiting for Lewis to show us the frame of what the animation could possibly look like. Oh, do you know Still what? hoping it's hand-drawn. Okay, um, I really hope the frame, and it's not, probably not going to be it, but I really hope the frame is Poe sitting on <laughs> Iron Fist's face. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like, it's a close-up of the butt just closing in around his head. <laughs> Dude, they they would so do that as a hand drawn segment if they wanted to. Oh um, god, they could. <laughs> Listen, if Poe does lose that death belt, as long as that happens in the fight, I'm like, I'm content with that. <laughs> you know, if if Poe gets to be hilarious, <laughs> then you know what? Like, whoever wins, I'm fine with it. Um, <laughs> All righty. Do you have anything else to add to this, or do you think you're done, Zoe? I think I'm done, so like just please win, Poe. I'm pulling for you. Yeah. Right. Okay, I already have an idea of what I'm gonna name. This is gonna be in two parts, by the way. I'm literally gonna but, name the first mm -hmm. part the the Sorry, you know, la hmm? Sorry, last thing. If anything, just win to make my Hall of Fame for this year look even more hilarious than it already does. <laughs> <laughs> because so far it consists of Mickey Mouse, Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Doctor Doom, Heihachi Mishima, and Blake Belladonna. Why the hell are these five together? It's like the <laughs> it makes it's like, no sense. It's like the weirdest crossover ever. Welcome to Operation Mindfuck. It's even more confusing than my Metopia lineup. <laughs> Sean, to make that joke work, I'll send you the images of my team just so you can put them on screen. <laughs> just so that joke makes right sense. Right, Um... 
So yeah, is that all you had to say? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm I'm done now. Okay, I already know what I'm going to name this uh, this podcast. It's going to be in two parts. Uh, for those who've probably already watched the first part, the first one's going to be called the Euroly May Hour, <laughs> and then this one mm-hmm. I think I'm going to call this uh, Poe's Biggest Fanboys. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like most of this season uh, of us discussing things has just been us fanboy, and let's be real. Because we actually know the characters! Yeah. Well, I mean, in the one case, I did not know Geese Howard or... What was his name again? Hi, we didn't even do that. Okay, I knew them for, because of previous death battles, and... Okay, can I just say, that's already, like, my contender for the funniest episode this season. If anything, just for Geese's voice acting. <laughs> Wow, how not predictable really. of you. You said it wrong. It's predictable. I know. See, that's not I can't do broken me. English that well. Or, or would you say that joke was English. too easy? <laughs> Probably that. Oh, God, that was great. <laughs> now, the reason I accidentally said unpredictable, because for some reason, um, Despicable Me appeared on the screen, and all I was thinking about is a Vector's line, what he says to Gru all the time. <laughs> So I kind of channeled both Vector and Geese in one. <laughs> like the weirdest fusion ever. Hmm. Uh, so, yeah, if you enjoyed our discussion of... Um, or Let's be real, if you enjoyed Mate's discussion about Blake versus Mikasa, uh, what was your thoughts about the episode? And what do you think of the next time? Who are you rooting for? Who are you betting on? And can we see a panda sit on a... A martial artist face, please. <laughs> I hope the killer is the wishy finger hold. Yes. Or or the nerve attack tickle. <laughs> <laughs> God, just the four, just the fourth part with the death foul laughing and just going, stop, stop, I'm gonna pee. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry. Oh, this has so much potential. I love it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, and if you enjoyed what you saw here, be sure to share the video around, get the channel growing, and um, I'm going to be recording Resident Evil 8 uh, this month, so come around for that, and I'm also going to be streaming on Twitch, I'll be replaying Watch Dogs Legion again on permadeath mode, so... Hopefully it goes better than uh, Last of Us. Yeah, that did, that. did let's be real here, that didn't even last the first episode, because I died midway through that, and I had to record it all again. <laughs> yeah. And then I died off recording. <laughs> mm. uh, you're only mate, do your outro. <sighs> Sorry I spoke about Blake vs. Mikasa for so long, uh, but uh, thanks everyone for just, like, all the support and just how amazing like, these past few weeks have been uh and again thank you death for making this episode so good uh but thanks for watching if you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy be sure to like and subscribe uh be sure to check out what sean and billy do yeah. or head over to my channel uh and have a nice day i'm gonna go watch blake versus mikasa again <laughs> Shocker. Sean, your outro. Thank you, folks, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out any links that Bill has put in the description. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments because I like reading your comments. And if you want to check out one of my videos, as, Bill, as Mate said earlier, check out the one where I ranked all the matches from that one meme on Twitter he did. <sighs> it was um, a good. It was a good watch. And with that being said, I will see you all dude, later. That meme was amazing. <laughs> <laughs>